Shabbos, everybody, and the last moments of Hanukkah Sameach. Uh, candle lighting this evening is at 4.15. Uh, Mincha, Kabbalat, Shabbat, Mariv, and the sanctuary and outdoors will be at 4.20. Just remember, if you're outdoors, to please dress warmly. Uh, Shachri tomorrow morning upstairs in the social hall will be at 7.30. For those who rise early, Shachri outdoors will be at 8.30. It should be approximately 10 degrees, so if you want to do it, gesundheit, hate. Um, the difference between the, the temperature inside and outside will be about 70 degrees, so choose your minion accordingly. Uh, Shachrit in the sanctuary will be at 9 o'clock, Teen Minion at 9.30, uh, Later Shema is at 9.36, uh, Daf Yomi is at 3.20, Mincha in the sanctuary and outdoors after you've had your warm uh, lunch in your toasty houses will be at 4.10, outside and inside. Shabbos afternoon learning will be at 4.30. Mariv in the sanctuary and outdoors will be at 5.20. Uh, Motzi Shabbos will be at 5.24. Mazel Tov to Rabbi Eli and Ilana Kurtz on the bat mitzvah of their daughter, Esther Gitti. Mazel Tov to the great grandparents, to Bernie Shefitz and to Sandra Frankel and to the grandparents, Rabbi Ronald and Judy Schwartzberg. Mazel tov. Mazel tov to Steve and Tova Josefowitz on the birth of a grandson. Mazel tov to the parents, Nina and Alicia Alper of Yerushalayim. This Friday will be a fast day, a Seret Betevet. It is commemorating the beginning of the siege on the city of Yerushalayim by the Babylonians that ended in the destruction of the first Beit HaMikdash. The fast schedule is in the newsletter. Now, it is with great pleasure that I present the President's Shovel Award. Here it is. Given to those young men and women who perform acts of chesed above and beyond the call of duty. Our five recipients this week are RPRY eighth graders, Solomon Grunstein, Sam Blau, Natano Renna, Davey Flansbaum, and Roni Newman. All five boys fought the elements today and shoveled out four of our member families. And it took over four hours, and I am happy to report that all five boys are resting with hot chocolate in a very hot jacuzzi somewhere in Highland Park. Natano's father, Jeremy, will be making a statement to the press tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. These boys' names will adorn our shul on the wall next to our very own Keter Torah Award winner, Mr. Edward Epstein. Mazel tov, boys, and continue to be role models for all of your friends and your families. Again, this is the President's Shovel Award, Mazel tov. The President's Baking Challenge. I would like everybody to meet my new friend here, Yitzi the Snowman. The congregation will be collecting home-baked goods to donate to local families this coming Sunday. Uh, many of you have Yitzi's apron that he's adorning on his handsome body that was built today. Uh, please use those aprons and get into your kitchens and bake some sweets, whether it's cookies, muffins, uh, cakes, or cupcakes for some of the needy families in Highland Park and in New Brunswick. Uh, all of these sweets will be collected. You can deliver them to Avasachem Sunday morning between the hours of 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. Uh, I will be there. Uh, thank you to Simi for helping out. To Laura Silver, to Laura Weiss, excuse me, and to uh, Rachel Saper, uh, they all participated. They're all going to be helping. All these foods will be distributed. Um, again, this is something that uh, I started, and I like I like everybody to participate in. Uh, looking forward to uh, all of your participation, so we can show our community how great we are here at Avasachem. I'd like to thank Phyllis Goldstein. Phyllis called me the other day. Uh, she said that she hasn't baked in 35 years. She doesn't have anything to bake with, and she wouldn't know where to start. So she sent a very generous donation. 
Uh, also, I'd like to thank Sandra Franco. Sandra called me the other day and told me that uh, Reb Ronnie and Judy tried to explain to them what we were trying to do. She had no idea, she didn't understand it, and she too wrote out a very generous check. So thank you to Phyllis and to Sandra. Those monies will be used uh, to help feed needy families during the holiday season. Young Community Winter Event this Sunday at Top Golf between the hours of 4 and 6 p.m. for our young community. Uh, I mentioned it last week. This is a wonderful um, opportunity for young people to socialize, to get out. Uh, it is going to be at Top Golf. Top Golf has uh, golfing units. Each one of them is heated. Uh, for the guys, if you don't want to be there, there is going to, there are going to be TVs there so you can watch Sunday football. Ladies, uh, there's going to be an opportunity to uh, talk to your friends. Uh, it's a great opportunity to golf, show what you can and can't do as far as golfing goes. It's a little white ball. You have to hit it out straight. If it goes to the left or to the right, you golf like me. And uh, if you can hit it straight, maybe you golf like uh, Jakob Rosenberg. Uh, that's what he told me, at least. Anyway, uh, it should be great, a great opportunity. It's $25 per person. There's going to be food served. There are going to be drinks, uh, not alcoholic beverages, and a lot of opportunity to schmooze and have a good time with other members of our shul in the young community. Um, kitchen Invasion. Our very own Rabbi Stephen Miodanik will be doing a, uh, a Zoom program for the next, I think, nine weeks every Monday night uh, at the hour of 8.30. It will be Zoom. He will be coming into your kitchens, and you will get to uh, hear him. As you all know, uh, if any of you are familiar with Rabbi Miodanik, he is a very entertaining and um, offers great educational advice. Uh, he will be talking about the laws of heating and reheating uh, foods on Shabbos. And uh, this Monday night, he will be talking about liquids and solids. If the program is outside, he will only be talking about solids, from what I understand. This Sunday at 945 at Avasachim, uh, we will have our annual, um, our annual budget meeting. Uh, we will be voting on approving the budget for the 2021 year. It was approved by the board already. Now it's an opportunity for the congregation to discuss it on Zoom. Uh, we can answer your questions and then we will vote to approve the budget for 2021. Thank you for all those who plan on chiming in. It's a little dark out here. Abbasakim University, 5781 sponsorship opportunities. As you all know, Rabbi M does a wonderful job putting together AAU. Uh, we've been doing it for years. It's an awesome opportunity for learning. So uh, there are opportunities to be a sponsor. It starts at Chancellor, which is $2,000, and everything in between, all the way down to Professor at $100. Uh, please, uh, we appreciate anything that you can do to help support the program. It's a terrific program. It's a, it's a program that we've had for many years, and hopefully we'll continue to have for many more years. We get some great speakers, and it's a great opportunity for learning. Uh, speaking of learning, this Shabbos afternoon, we have the power of three. So there's three great opportunities. I know I myself get to learn with Kiwi. We learn Chumash every week. It's terrific. And uh, Rabbi Schwartzberg gets to teach a class as well as Rabbi M. Remember, we have the daily inspirations from the rabbi. They're a lot of fun to listen to. Uh, what else do we have here? Let me just see. I know there's a couple more things. RPRY is in full swing for the scholarship campaign. Um, as you all know, RPRY is a major institution that uh, anchors our community. Uh, many of you have supported the school for many years. Many of you have sent your children to the school. Many of you are graduates of the school. Uh, there are many families who cannot afford the uh, expense of tuition. So this campaign helps to subsidize and help those families so every child gets a Jewish education. Um, and also, myself personally, if it's a successful campaign, things at home are going to be great that year. So I look forward to everybody participating so they can raise a lot of money. So uh, I have Shalom Bayat. Managing finances throughout the Jewish life cycle. That is the Orthodox Forum of Edison and Highland Park this coming Saturday night. Uh, we're going to be three speakers uh, regarding finances. Uh, Daniel Reshevsky is going to be speaking about uh, insurance. Our own John Kaplan will be speaking about investments, uh, and our own Ben Menasha will be speaking about wills, college attorney, living wills, and all those things that are important for all of us. So if you would like to go to Zoom, uh, again, that uh, the, the Zoom site is in the um, newsletter, and you can watch that on Saturday night. 
And I know that the Newmans are sponsoring uh, Kiddush this week. Um, I don't know where it is in here. Uh, Team Minion, Kiddush sponsorship. Uh, Hillel and Nava Newman, in memory of Hillel's father, Moshe Avraham Ben Svi, Zichron Livracha. May his neshama have an aliyah. Thank you to the Newmans and the boys. I thank all of, I thank the Newmans on behalf of, um, on, on behalf of the Newmans for, or whatever I wanted to say. Uh, thank you to the Newmans on behalf of the boys for making the Kiddush that will be served on Shabbos. I got it. That's it. It's getting cold out here. Anyway, I hope you guys all stay warm. I hope you have a wonderful Shabbos. My friend Yitzi, the snowman over here, would like to wish all of you a special Shabbat. Say something. Okay, Yitzi wishes all of you a very warm Shabbos. He did ask me specifically, don't come near him with anything hot. Don't come near him with a light. Don't come near him with any hot foods. If you want to give him ice cream, he loves ice cream. He loves ice water and anything cold. So to all of you, good Shabbos.